Good morning. Welcome to Grace for Today. God bless everybody. We're going to give you all a few moments to come on, and then we'll get started with our teaching for today. Don't forget, this Sunday at 2 p.m., I will be at the McLean Church of God in Christ and um, for their Women's Day. I pray that those of you in the area or close by or just want to take a road trip would join us for service. Uh, I believe that there is a word from the Lord. So this Sunday at 2 p.m. Um, in McLean, Mississippi, I will be there for their Women's Day. And uh, Sunday school, Sunday morning at 9 a.m. until 9.30. We have a 9.45 Christian graduation, but join me for Sunday school, Sunday morning. And uh, if you feel like it, join me tonight for um, a little worship, not much, but a little worship on our at our jurisdictional women's convention. So join us for any of those. I want to do a, um, I want just to remind you of that. And then of course, May 18th, good morning, Pastor Brent. Um, May 18th, I will be in Canton at the Philadelphia Church of God in Christ for their Warriors Day. Hope that you will join us then. And um, if you can, if you're in the area, uh, some of you have told me you're going to be there. God bless you. Thank you for that. Hopefully some of the saints from Tabernacle will attend, but it's a big day for us because we're also having a gala at 3 p.m. that day. So good morning, Dr. Venetia Miller. God bless you, sis. All right. So um, happy birthday to one of our longtime friends, real friends. I've known her for my Lord decades. Sandra Wansley. God bless you. Happy birthday, sis. Appreciate you. Absolutely. McLean Church of God in Christ. We're coming. Hopefully, um, some of the, some of the saints will come. And, um, so we're just pray for us and pray our strength. So God bless everybody. Let's get started. Let's get started. So we've been talking about the promise of help. And when we look, oh, let me fix this. I forgot. All right, so I forgot. Good morning, Sister Inslee. And um, I hope you got the card I sent. And um, yeah, I need to text somebody else too because I don't think they were said anything. But listen, let's be an encouragement to other people. Don't forget people. Don't forget those who've labored. Don't forget those who've poured into you. Uh, to me, it doesn't matter if you gave me a hot dog a pack of Kool-Aid. Hey, Mother Irma, that woman of God said something last night, y'all. That's my district missionary. She said a word last night. Y'all better go back and catch the replay. But listen, God bless her. She's mama to me. And um, But let's continue to pray for people who blessed us. Let You may not be able to pay them, but you ought to pray for them. Lord, bless them. Don't let them miss anything. Let every one of their needs be met. All right. And uh, thank y'all for encouraging my district missionary. She's a sweet woman of God. She really is. And she loves people and she loves the Lord. Um, but let's look into this passage today. We're looking at Psalm 37 verses and verses 26 through 28. Yes, indeed. Um, this says... He is ever merciful. We talked yesterday about uh, where, where he says, I've been young and now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Nor his seed begging bread. Then he says, he is ever merciful and lendeth. His seed is blessed. His seed is blessed. When, when we look in this, we see God saying something significant that he provides. But the person, there's a scripture that says, if it first be a willing mind. Some things, some things, um, it's not, it's not about um, you're just doing it. It's having the willingness or even not having it. It's having the willingness 
to do it. It's having the willingness to do it. Remember the parable. I know I'm, I'm deviating a little bit, but I won't take me much to finish some of this. When we remember the, the parable of the father who had two sons and he asked his sons to go into the vineyard and work, the first son said, sure, I'll go. And he didn't go. But the second son, son he said no, but he went. Which son pleased the father? The one who gave lip service or the one who actually went? Good morning, Jackie. The one who actually went, who did it. So what God is saying, God works with us. Exactly. God works. With, good morning, Ashley Reed. God bless you, sis. We, God expects us to do it but he wants us to be willing to do it. It's like the, the parent who said about their child, uh, they told their child to sit down and they sat down. He said, I may be sitting down on the outside, but I'm standing up on the inside. We, we have to have a willingness to obey, to do what God says, to follow him, to honor his word, his desires above even our own. There must be, if it's first, a willing mind. Here you see, the, he is ever merciful and lendeth is talking about the godly believer, those who God is going to hold up. If you're looking for people to hold you up, people can love you, and they should. Hey, Sandra McGee, they should. Hey, Lady Phyllis, they should. But even if they don't, if they fail you, you have to remember it's the Lord who's holding me in. That, that old song says, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. I can't walk if he's not holding my hand. I don't want to walk. I don't want to walk if he doesn't hold my hand. I don't want to walk if he does not hold my hand. Because I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. I trust his hand. I trust him to order my steps, to lead me in a plain path. I trust him for that. I trust him for that. He says, he is ever merciful. This says to me, when you look at verse 25, I've been young. Look, verse 24, hey, Kasten. Have a good day, sweetheart. Verse 24 starts with, though he fall, which there may be times that you may fall, not necessarily into blatant sin, where you do not, uh, you may miss the mark or you may, uh, you may sin, you may slip into it. You shouldn't be walking into it, praise God, hallelujah, with your eyes wide open. But though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. This says to me, to me, that there will be times where I will have my own struggle, my own learning how to walk with God, my learning, my maturing with God. My learning, right, Maddie Reed, uh, how not to lean on the strength of my flesh, lean on my own abilities, learn how to lean. Yes, you've got abilities. You need to use them. You need to stir up the gift. You need to do that. Yes. But that's not the totality of where my strength comes from. My strength comes from the one who made heaven and earth. The one who gives me strength. Who gives me strength. From day to day, we sing that. But he really is my strength. My, I've been young and yet I haven't seen the righteous. The, my mama's old Bible said, um, he said, I've never seen the Lord forsake a man who loves him. So he can be ever merciful and lend. He can be ever merciful and lend. Because he's not fear, fearful in the days 
of lack, in the days of struggle, the days of growing, the days of going through, the days of heaviness. It's not where I'm going to live. I'm not going to live in that season of depression. I'm not going to live in that season of sadness. I'm not going to live there. I'm not taking off my shoes and becoming uh, comfortable there. Good passage, Sister Roberta. We, I'm not going to be comfortable with less than what the posture, the frame of mind, the thinking than what God has promised to me. Great peace have they who love thy law and nothing shall cause them to stumble is one translation. Hey, Lady Precious, is one translation. It will not cause them to stumble. There's a song and I don't know it, but it's something about, uh, he won't let me stumble. He won't let me fall. Let's read on. I've got three minutes. Listen, he says this. He is ever merciful and lended. He realizes where his help comes from. Everybody ain't got that help. They could, but they don't. They don't have the help that comes from God. We can be assured that our God will rescue us. Hallelujah. He will get us out. But everybody doesn't have that. We, we are confident that God has a way. God has a way to lift us up. They don't have that. So they're merciful and lendeth. And because he lends, he's sowing a seed. And his seed is blessed. Absolutely, uh, Sister Edna Ferdinand. We'll pray for the children. Pray for you too. 27 says, depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. You can, when you give, when you give, whatever you give, I don't care if you're giving prayer, you're giving money, you're giving your time, you're giving your resources, whatever you're giving, you can't look for the person to repay you back. You better give expecting God who sees everything, knows everything, and will reward based on your heart. Your heart. You're the giver. He tells us we should depart from evil. Don't try, if people do you wrong and you did them good, don't be mad. Just see what you see. You pray for them. And even if they're your enemy, that's why the word of God tells us to pray for our enemies and those who use us and misuse us and despitefully use us and say all manner, say, speak all manner of evil against us falsely. Better be false. We don't fret because of evildoers. We don't fret. We don't become anxious or agitated because of those who oppose us. Because you're going to have some opposition. That's right, Lady Precious. God will fight every battle. Sometimes we, we he'll give us what to do, what to say. But he knows the way we take. He knows the way we, he knows what tomorrow. Exactly. Mr. Sherry Wolfolk, we don't repay evil with evil. We pray, we pay evil, repay evil with good. You don't have to lick anybody's feet, but you ought to know uh, who you are and you don't have to return what the old folks say, tit for tat. Because God is going to bless me. He says, depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. Let's read that from here. So if you want an eternal home, leave. Here's the scripture. Y'all, I'm going to read this and I'm going to stop. I'm going to pick this up Monday. He said, so if you want an eternal home, leave your evil low down ways and live good lives. My Lord, today, leave your evil low down. That, it's in there, y'all. I can I can show it to you, but get you a Bible. This is, a, this is the living Bible, the old one. The classic, I think is what they call it. Leave your evil low down ways if you want an eternal home and live good lives. 
good based on the word of God, not good based on what everybody else is thinking you ought to do. Let's do what God says. Let's honor where God says to honor. You don't get to, you don't, um, exactly. Can't get any plainer than that. Now that is the truth, Sister Reuben. When we understand this, I'm going to pick up verse 27 on Monday, Lord willing. The sixth. Okay. Trying to get my days together. Um, so we need to, if we could just follow the word of God, you don't do evil because people do evil to you. You ain't got to do nothing. God sees, sees them. God hears them. He knows who didn't speak up for you. He knows who let silence give consent. He knows that. You keep walking with God and God will let everything else fall off. I got to go. Father, thank you so much for what you're working in us. Working us the strength to resist evil, to resist the devil, but to submit ourselves to you. And he will run from us as in terror. Father, we thank you even now that you help us to clean up our lives, help us to do our part. We know you'll do your part. Sanctify us from the inside out. Protect our homes, protect our children, protect our minds, our thinking. Help us to see clearly, to hear clearly. Open our understanding. Hey, God, open. Lord, don't let your people be ignorant. We will not be ignorant of Satan's devices to steal, to kill, and to destroy us. Father, he comes and he has nothing in us. No lust of the eye, no lust of the flesh, and no pride of life. Keep us holy. Hey, God, keep us holy. Keep us holy. Sanctify us. Make us vessels of honor. Hallelujah. Lord, bring into our lives the relationships that you've designed. We can have your best now. We thank you now. Give strength to those who are who are on the fringes. Lord God, who the enemy is trying to beat up. Lord, give them grace. Give them grace. Give them grace. Give them grace. Hallelujah. Strengthen the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you and we bless your excellent name. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Father. You bring healing to our bodies, to our minds. Heal us of the wounds inflicted because of relationships. Heal us because of our past. Heal us, oh God, that we can walk holy and completely restored with you. We thank you even now. Help us to love the saints and to love one another. Help us to love one another sincerely. We don't have to like everything everybody does, Lord, but help us to love and to care about the well-being of each other sincerely. Father, we thank you for it. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. And we thank you for all that you've done and all that you're doing. Bring our little ones home safely. Protect them at school today. Protect our adult children at school today. All those connected to us, give them favor. Lord God, let them be resilient. Let the negative words not stick. Protect them from evil influences. Father, we thank you even now. We receive these things in the mighty name of Jesus. So it is. Amen. All right. I got to go. Y'all got to go too. Y'all got to go. Join me. Um, don't forget on uh, 9 a.m. Sunday morning for 30 minutes of Sunday school. And then um, at 2 p.m. at the McLean Church of God in Christ in McLean. You're nearby. Drop on over and visit with us. All right. 2 p.m. on this Sunday at McLean Church of God in Christ. And um, don't forget May 18th. We will be in Canton at Warriors Day for um, Philadelphia Church of God in Christ. So join us then. That's at 9 a.m. May 18th. I'm going to be back in Hattiesburg right at 3 o'clock. Glory to God. Y'all pray for us. We'll be rolling. But I know that God gives us grace. God gives us grace. God bless you, Elder Ingram. I appreciate the Ingrams. I really do. I have to admit, I'm just, many of you have supported me for years. And I'm, I'm, I just, I really appreciate you, your family. So God bless you. Thank you so much. And uh, don't forget, those of you who are attending the women's convention, stop by and get the little pink envelope with Laced With Love on it. Get your little happy so that you can, um, it's just a little something we thought about. You want to make sure we, you were blessed by it. All right. See y'all in, see y'all, um, when I'm going to see y'all, I'm going to see y'all Sunday morning and then Monday morning again at 9 a.m. at 7 15 a.m. Central time. Don't forget to share the video. We're a little low on sharing, but if everybody watching would do a quick share to your messenger or to your Facebook page, that would do right, put us right about on point. 
God bless you. We'll see you all then. Until then, remember this time spent in the word of God is never wasted in you. Have been graced for today. Have a great day. Don't forget to pray for somebody else. All right. Pray for our friend, Brother Sam. Pray for those who are grieving. Pray for somebody. Pray for those who have sicknesses in their bodies. Pray for them. Everyone, you can just say, everybody who watches Grace for Today, Lord bless them, heal them. Let their money be straight. All right, I got to go. See y'all later. Bless their children too. Grandchildren, nieces, net. Y'all, y'all got a lot to pray for. Pray for Grace for Today. I am graced for today, but pray for this ministry. Pray for, for a journey with Jesus. Pray for laced with love. Pray for the Joseph Center that you have and don't know anything about. But there's so many things in my heart to do, and I just I just want to do them. Got to go. All right, see y'all later. Have a great day. The blessings of the Lord be upon you.